First of all, congratulations on the long-awaited season two of uh, Avenue 5. What a tremendously funny show. And uh, I'm going to start with Lenora. You know, with everything that you've done, do you enjoy comedy more than you enjoy drama or is acting acting? Uh, I wouldn't say acting is acting. I'd say that each job in each set and each production and each cast is its own beast. Um, so, you know, you can have an awful experience on a comedy just as much as you can have an awful experience on a drama, um, depending on on who you're, you're working with and, and what you're working with. But this comedy is particularly sweet because um, because of the people I get to work with and, and all those elements are there. And I've thoroughly enjoyed playing Billy. Um, so I feel like I've, I'm onto a winner with this one. And Zach, I mean, you have done so many, many wonderful things. I just saw Spin Me Round. It's, it's, oh. it's very funny. Right. But again, Silicon Valley, you're known for The Office, you know, these, these juggernaut shows. Mm -hmm. um, what was it about the uh, Avenue 5 that brought you to the series? Armando cast me in my first thing ever, really, which was this movie called In the Loop. And then I worked with him for a few episodes of Veep. And I was always just, I always had so much affection and admiration for him and his particular brand of um, disturbing, hilarious um, human mess. I always liked that. Uh, and I like <laughs> the idea of seeing a society totally uh where they this a society that had to totally reinvent itself i thought was sort of an interesting idea because it feels like we're in the middle of that right now on earth you know that there, mm -hmm. there's a sort of the old ways have lost some of their efficacy and so we have to figure out new ways and none of us are particularly well equipped to figure that out and so this that this show seemed like it could explore that in microcosm on a spaceship well, it really does. I mean, you know, it's it's more than Gilligan's Island in space. It's mm -hmm. it really is, you know, talking about class systems and it breaks down society and and social mores and being a part of something like that, Lenore, is got to be a godsend. Uh, yeah, being gainfully employed is a godsend. Um, <laughs> if, you're, if you're gainfully employed with something that's slightly um, interesting and 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 funny and thought provoking. I mean, what's to complain about? No, I've 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 loved it, and I love looking at the the sort of social commentary and parallels and narratives that run through Avenue Five. And I personally really enjoy satire as the, as a way of understanding the world and um, poking fun at it and appreciating it. Um, so no, it. I mean, I I feel like I would watch Avenue Five. Mm. And, and thoroughly enjoy it, whether or not I was in it, which is not always the case when you're on a show. So that's wonderful. I have to I have to admit, I watch it, uh, you know, in the reruns now because I'm waiting for season two to start. Zach, what's happening in season two that you can tell us about? Well, very little because I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the episodes, but um, I think uh whatever sort of thin valence of civility existed at the end of season one and it was a um spider web thin valence is completely dissipated by the beginning of season two and it's really uh people are really in a strange kind of <laughs> fugue state or something i don't know but uh yeah, I, I, there's all kinds of stuff happens. There's a stowaway. There's an encounter with a dangerous, um, a dangerous uh, celestial body. Um, there's uh, what else is there that happens? There's um, Lenora, help me. I'm really trying. This is my thinking face. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't um, seen it either. Um, and a lot's happened since we shot. Um, there's a show within a show that I know is in there. Yeah, there's a show wow. within a show. Um, it sounds like there's a, there's enough for everybody in this second season to to just glom onto and and love. Thank you. You've yeah. rescued us. You've rescued yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is what it feels like if you're drowning in the ocean and you see the coast guard coming on one of those uh, those <laughs> boards. You're, you're my you're my interview bay watch. Thank you, Lenora. Yeah. Uh, you, Lori, is. Uh, International treasure, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, there. that's what you think. Maybe you should keep that to yourself. Um, there I said it. <laughs> um, 
he he is an international treasure that's lovely to hear because i think i think the uk you know the brits think of him as a treasure but yeah um you can we can share um i i, I think he is and um unfortunately i can't can't really argue i i have to i have to say he's 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 a bit of a treasure and i totally see why he's a very um brilliant actor but also just lovely captain of our ship i think we're really lucky that um he's he's the head honcho because yes yeah, the- I, 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 and he brings he brings kind of a joy to us that i i was on a house episode years ago and and uh he is just amazing with with his fellow with with the crew even just an yeah. incredible human being yeah he's he's a good egg for sure he'll do well i've got high hopes for him <laughs> yeah he's he just, just beginning in this business he just yeah. needs a shot and and he'll be off yeah. Zach, what do you think audiences are going to take away from uh, from watching Avenue Five? Um, what are they going to take away from watching it? I hope they take away uh, a feeling of um, entertainment and gratification. But who's to say? Maybe they'll be horrified. Maybe they'll be disturbingly titillated. Maybe they'll discover something about their own sexuality they never knew. Uh, maybe they'll switch political affiliations. They'll start a third party. We don't know. I I can't promise how the people. Maybe they'll riot in the fucking streets. We don't. Yes. We just don't know. We just don't. No, no. I think historians will one day look back and say <laughs> Avenue Five was the cause of everything. I think that's right. That's right. Maybe the, the cause and solution to everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, before I go, I've got a I've got a, a great tagline for the series. In Later space, on. everyone can hear you laugh. <laughs> oh. It's an alien. Yeah, uh, shout out. Yes, Sigourney. Yeah. Give it up for Sigourney. Always. I, I love I'm it. Working on that for weeks. You know? <laughs> that was brilliant. Uh, oh. Lenora, it is a pleasure to meet you and talk with you. Zach, as always, uh, you're you. just a great guy, and I'm I'm glad you got your hair fixed for this. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> Have a great one, and congratulations on one of the most outstanding shows on television. HBO is just doing so well with this show. Thank you, Tony. Thank Thank you. you